Hey, Murphy. Murphy, come here. Yeah. How you doing? Hey, how you doing? What you got? What you got? Come here. Come here. Hey, this is Murphy. This is Murphy's house. John and Patty are Murphy's owners. Murphy lives next door to me. Murphy, you can't really see it, but has an invisible fence. It's about 15 feet in from the street, and then it's about 10 yards in from the property lines over there and over there all the way around to the backyard. So Murphy lives his life within his invisible fence and in the house. And the purpose of the fence is to keep Murphy from running in the street or from going to the bathroom in the neighbor's yard or from running away. And the interesting thing is Murphy doesn't know about any of that. Murphy only knows that John and Patty want her to stay in her yard and she knows because of this neck device that she's got right here that if she crosses that line it hurts like crazy. But I think Murphy's pretty happy. She lives a happy life within her fenced-in area. Today when you are having your group conversation, you're going to be discussing Jesus' commentary on God's law. And God's law is really like Murphy's fence. God gives us laws, and the purpose of the laws are to keep us from danger. If we obey the laws, then we're blessed, the people that are close to us are blessed, the world is blessed. And the cool thing about Jesus commenting on God's law is that Jesus is the Son of God. So if anybody was ever going to know what the law is for, Jesus is the one who would know. So as you are looking at the Bible text for today, look for a couple of things from Jesus. Look for Jesus having a heart attitude attached to the behavior. God's not just interested in the behavior. He's interested in our hearts. And then notice also that Jesus seems to be saying that if you get the heart attitude right, you will get the behavior right. For example, if you get anger figured out, if you can stay away from revenge, you're probably not going to have a problem with murder. If you can get lust figured out so that lust is like an early warning signal for you, you're probably not going to have a problem with adultery. And in that sense, the heart attitude is kind of like Murphy's fence line 15 yards in from the street. I don't know why John and Patty put the fence line there, but I, I think it must be that they want Murphy to have a warning well before Murphy gets to the street. Otherwise, Murphy would get real close to the street and be real strongly tempted to run through the fence. Maybe Jesus is saying, think about what's going on in your heart as an early warning system so that you stay away from the bad behavior. When you have your conversation, I'd like you to discuss a couple of questions. The first question is, what's the heart attitude behind the behavior Jesus is talking about? That's the first question. And the second question is, how does avoiding that heart attitude help you to avoid the behavior itself?